In this lesson, we're going to apply Kirchhoff's rules to parallel circuits. Um, so first, just to remind you of Kirchhoff's loop theorem, again, they're telling us that the sum of the voltage rises equals the sum of the voltage drops. So if we look at a simple parallel connection, and this is a parallel connection in its most simple form, with, in this case, I'll draw three resistors. What we've got here are three different loops. We have a path that goes through the first resistor and back to the battery. We have a path that goes through the second resistor and back to the battery. And we have a path that goes through the third resistor and back to the battery. So we have to apply the loop rule for each individual loop. So my first loop that I have with R1, I would have the v voltage of the battery, the total voltage, is equal to the voltage drop across R1. So we're gaining voltage going through the battery, and then we're losing that voltage as we go through resistor 1. And that can be tr held true for resistor 2 as well. That's an independent loop. So the rise on that loop is through the battery, and the fall on that loop is through resistor 2. And then the third loop would be evaluated in the same way. We go up through the battery, and then we go down through R3. When we addressed this analogy um, for series circuits, I told you to look at it like a roller coaster. Well, we could apply that, but it's a little trickier to find a roller coaster with multiple paths. Maybe you could use the racer from Kennywood, but let's think about this uh, as a ski lift and, a, and hills on a ski um, at a resort for skiing. So if we go up the first hill, if we take the lift up to the top of the hill, that is like the battery. We're going all the way up to the top. Now, oftentimes when you are skiing, if you go up to the top of that first hill, you have some choices of which way you're going to come down the hill. So maybe you take a black diamond hill and you come down to the bottom and you head back to the ski lift. Or perhaps you take a different route. You go up that ski lift and you take a route that's a little easier and you come down two smaller hills to make it back to the beginning. So there's two independent pathways that you can take here, but regardless of which path you take, your total rise, which is in this case the total voltage of the battery, is equal to the fall, the, the drop that you go. So you come down either one big hill or maybe you come down two hills, but in either case, your total voltage for that particular loop, which would be your up or the battery, is equal to the voltage that you come down. So in this case, this would be V1. I come up and I go down. That's one loop. Or I also have a second loop in this case, and maybe this would be called V2 and this would be called V3. So in that loop, I come up through the battery and then I come down, but um, combining those two hills on the way down, and through the combination of those two hills, I make it all the way down to the bottom again. Again, this is the loop roll. Whatever the total rise is, the total voltage gain is equal to the voltage drop around each individual loop, no matter how many loops there happen to be in the circuit.